Willie Holdman here with Willie Holdman Photographs. I've teamed up with the Western River Expeditions to put on this advanced photography workshop, seven day workshop down the Grand Canyon afloat. Had some great food, hit some huge rapids. The most important thing, we've seen some beautiful scenery. If you're just floating on the river with a commercial trip, it's wonderful, but to actually probe it with a uh, camera and lens with someone who knows the canyon intimately, turn the whole canyon into a really interactive experience. I started taking Willie Holdman classes about a year ago. This is my third one. I was introduced to Willie through a friend of mine and decided that this was something that I wanted to do and actually booked this trip more than uh, 15 months ago. Willie is uh, like my inspiration for photography. Magically, everything just fell into place and here I am, living the dream. One thing this photography workshop allows us to do is spend a little bit more time in the Grand Canyon, concentrating on some of the special areas. We'll spend time looking for compositions, waiting for the light, and I'll be there as your personal assistant, helping you along. What I do appreciate about Willie is his commitment and his obvious enthusiasm. He just bubbles over. He's thorough, he's just full of information. When he's talking about photography, he's eloquent. He's the kind of guy that uh, if he sees that you're struggling with something, he does kind of say, hey, now how's it going? And give you a chance to ask him the question that you were maybe afraid to ask. I think I picked up a lot of uh, good pointers along the way. I've learned a lot from him and, and love it because that just improves my uh, hobby, my passion. A lot of the times when we're at camp, we always take special hikes in the evening. You know, the golden light, the sweet light. We had a chance on this trip to hike up the hilltop ruin, a couple mile hike. And as we got up there, the clouds were there, just kind of storming a little bit. We waited out, found our great compositions, S-curve in the river. And lo and behold, the sun came out for us. It was awesome. So we had this magical light just dancing across the cliffs. We had the S-curve in the river. And it's kind of special moments like that that make this trip all worthwhile. In every direction you turn, you have a pretty much a shot that you can compose. One of the highlights of the trip is Els Chasm. It's a simple, short hike, but it's one of the most beautiful grotto areas in the whole world. Cascading waterfalls, green ferns, clear pools of water. And we always time it just right to get that reflected light bouncing around in there, and it's an experience like no other. Boy, when you look at that thing, the colors, they just jump out at you. To see the clear water coming down, the greens, the blues. I think one of the, my favorite shots was the pool below Els Chasm. I think it's every bit as beautiful as the other part. It was gorgeous. I just looked through all of my photos from the last two days and uh, I think that waterfall there and that hike and all of the shots in there are my favorite and the light was perfect. It's a treasure. Favorite spot actually was the Little Colorado. The blue uh, turquoise water coming into the uh, Colorado River from Little Colorado was just uh, awesome. Uh, Nanka Wheat Granaries. That was pretty special to see that ruin up there and, and how ancient it is and what an archaeological find it was. There are several side canyons in the Grand Canyon. One of my favorites is Mat Cat. It's a short hike up there. You're going through little pools of water, narrow canyons about this wide. You get this golden light reflecting in the water with ripples, leading lines. I mean, it's a photographer's paradise. You had to hike up a very narrow slot canyon and then it even got narrower, um, pretty much just one foot in front of the other, climbing up through little waterfalls. Even if you weren't doing photography, it's fantastic just to see the stuff. As we're coming down about halfway through the Grand Canyon, there's an area called Deer Creek Falls. It's amazing. The waterfall is about 200 feet high. You can just feel the power of the force of it. There's a lot of red monkey flowers around it. Great for photography. So that's another key spot that we're going to stop at. You know, I absolutely love uh, Havasu today. The blue and the water and the beauty of the, of the canyon coming down with that water was, was amazing. As we're camping here in the Grand Canyon, you're gonna have a chance to sleep on your cot in your sleeping bag under an open sky. And there's nothing like the stars at night here in the Grand Canyon. We'll be doing some night photography, the Milky Way, the moon's out, we'll get some moon shots. It's amazing what we can capture at nighttime here in the Grand Canyon. Day four, night photography with Milky Way, it, that spot was just perfectly set up. You kind of had a 360 view of the sky. So any direction you would turn was gorgeous, but around 5 a.m., the Milky Way was just across our campsite. It, it was absolutely gorgeous. One of the great things about going on a photography workshop is not only do you learn from the leader, but you learn from each other, you help each other out. 
sometimes explaining what you're doing to one of your fellow workshop participants helps you understand better what you're doing as well. I've been in other photography groups, but what was nice about this one is that everybody is coaching everybody else and offering tips and helping when needed. And it, it was an A+. Plus. I mean, it was just a really fine experience. On top of uh, getting pointers on photography, you get to experience uh, the grandeur of the Grand Canyon. Western River did a great job. I love being with the people, love, love the camaraderie that we had. Really impressed with our guides, their expertise, the way that they maneuver the boats. Food's great, it's just wonderful. Everybody gets along. Before we went on the trip, we mentioned we were coming down here to do this, and, and people always said, well, who are, you, who are you going with? And we said, well, a group called Western River, and they said, oh, they're the best. And I am totally convinced of that. I can't say enough about uh, how well the trip went, how well Western River treated us, and how well organized uh, Willie's workshop was. And the people that we went with, they end up being really good friends. People that you say, well, where have you been all my life? The guides that we have, um, they were amazing. They made you feel comfortable. They made you feel like you were in good hands, that you were safe. I think everything was just fabulous. You know, we sat around campfire last night and reminisced about our trip. And uh, one by one, we talked about, you know, the Colorado and the Havasu. And, and I couldn't put my finger on one, but I did mention that it was just a dream destination. Just being here was probably the highlight of my trip. I've got the Willie virus. I'm going to be a very good advocate for the uh, Willie Holdman photography experience. Ever since I saw the grandness of the Grand Canyon, I, that was my dream, just to go camp at the bottom of Grand Canyon. Whitewater rafting through Grand Canyon would be an add-on. And then uh, also photography is my passion and hobby. So those three pieces coming together, I have a tent at the bottom, did the white water rafting for six days. I've been taking photographs for the past six days. So it's like a dream come true, all in one. It's, it really is very difficult to describe what you feel here, what you live here. Uh, it's very hard. It's an amazing place. It's a fulfillment, fulfilling experience in terms of, of the heart and the soul. This was absolutely surpassed what we even thought. It's been a great trip. Uh, the organization of Western River Expedition for me is exceptional. The guys, amazing. And with this opportunity with Willie, uh, a total home run. Five stars all the way. You know, I mean, obviously it was a photography adventure, but uh, the crew on this uh, trip has just been absolutely wonderful. If you haven't been here, you should come. If you have, you should come back. Well, for me, it was an overwhelming, fulfilling, and at least once in a lifetime experience to do. It's made me appreciate uh, this great creation that God has given us. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's beautiful. It is just something that I would recommend anybody do this. Well, first, if this is something that they dream, don't just dream it, live it. So if you want to join us here on the workshop, uh, visit my website, willieholdman.com. We'd love to have you along. I guarantee you'll come back with some great images. So you'll have an experience of a lifetime. Thank you.